Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use some conditional formatting to de-emphasize dates that are prior to the current month and dates that are after the current month. Okay, so in a previous video, we uh, created this calendar, and it populates automatically just by typing in a date right up here in cell A1. However, I would like to uh, format some of these earlier days of the month and these upcoming days of the month so that they don't have the same emphasis. Basically, I want to format them in a, in a shade of gray or something like that. Now, you need to remember that these are not simple integers right up here in this calendar. They are actual dates, and they're formatted to look like integers. So knowing that they're dates, we can use that in our calculation. The other thing that's going to come in handy is to remember that my date in A1 is the first. It's always going to be the first. So right now I have December 1st of 2020, but we could easily change that to October 1st of 2020 to make that October, and we'll see exactly what's going on for that particular month. The other thing that's going to be useful, useful is to know about the end of month function. So for instance, I'll just do this off to the side, equals end of month for my current month, which is in this example October, but it's in cell A1. And for comma, and then for the next argument, I'll put a zero in. So the end of my current month is going to be the 31st. Just so you can see how that's working, I'll put in something like uh, June 1st. And we see, okay, the end of June is a 30th. If I put in February, we see it's the 29th. 2020, by the way, was a leap year for um, leap year, so we had 29 days in February. So, okay, so end of month is going to be useful. And then I can use conditional formatting to format days that are prior to the first, which we know is in cell A1, and days that are after the end of month based on the first. So, perfect. It doesn't really matter where I start. I'm just going to go ahead and pick on a cell. I will pick on cell. D3 right here, and I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting, New Rules, and I'm going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now my condition is going to include a couple of things, so knowing that, I'm going to use an OR function. I'll start off with equals OR. My first statement in my OR function is going to be if uh, my particular cell that I'm working with, in this case um, D3, so I'll say, all right, D3 is less than a1, and that's good that that's absolute, comma. Now the other statement that I'm going to look at is D3 greater than the end of month, let's move that cursor out of the way, EO month of A1, comma, zero. And another closing parentheses to finish off the or. So my date, if it's less than the current date, or if my date is greater than the last day of the month of the current date. If either of those things is true, I'll change my format here, and I'll just change the color of the text to a light shade of gray. I'm going to click OK, and I'll go ahead and click OK. And we can see that's working for the one day that I applied this to. Great. OK, so if we can see it's working there, let me go back to my conditional formatting manage my rules, and instead of applying this to D3, I'm going to apply this to the entire range of all of my calendar dates. I'll click OK. It looks like it's working pretty well. I can see all the dates that are prior to the 1st of February are gray, and all of the dates after the 29th of February are gray. Well, let's see how it looks for April 1st of 2020. All right, that looks like it's working there. Prior dates are gray, and the afterward dates are gray. Excellent. Now that we can do that, let's do a little bit of more conditional formatting to format the current date. So I'm filming this in uh, March, so I'll change this out to March 1st, 2020. So I have my current calendar. I'm recording this on the 7th, which is Saturday. I would like to format the current date so that it automatically has a, uh, let's say, a red border. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pick on our current date. Conditional formatting, new rules, formula. And let's move this down a little bit so we can see. Equals. 
So basically, I want to find out, and I guess this could be an AND situation. So let's do an AND function here. And I want to know if the date, in this case, I'm picking on uh, G3, which is today's date, uh, Saturday, March 7th. I want to know if that date, actually, even, even better, I want to know if the month of G3 is equal to the month of today. So basically, I need to find out if the month of, of a cell is equal to the month of, the de of today. Now, I don't want G3 to be absolute, though, so I'm going to make that relative. Comma. And now I'm going to be doing the second part of my AND function, this, uh, uh, the second argument. And I want to know if the, um, the day of G3 is equal to the day of today. I don't want G3 to be absolute. OK, now, if these things are true, then I'm going to do a format. And let's see, I will change the border of this, and I'll choose a solid border. I guess that's fine. But I want the color to be uh, red. I'll just do an outline. I think that'll be sufficient. OK, and I'm just going to click OK and click OK. Formula is missing a closing parentheses. I am missing the closing parentheses, I guess, for my AND. So one more there should take care of it. OK. And we can see that there is a, re a red border now around the 7th. OK, fantastic. But it doesn't really let us know if it's working. So let's go back to my conditional formatting. Manage rules. Here it is right here. Now, I don't want to apply it just to G3. I want to apply it to all of these cells. Click OK. All right, well, that looks like it's working. However, is it going to work for the next day or for the prior day and stuff like that? Well, one sure way we can find out is let's change the month. So instead of it being in March of 2020, what if it was April of 2020? Look at that. There's no red days formatted. And if I go back to March, there we go. We've got a highlighted day. So we've just formatted the current day of the month depending on the month that's being displayed. Take care.